U.S. Senate sends Trump final bill to sanction Russia, Putin retaliates with bold move. New reports coming out of Russia indicate that Vladimir Putin is retaliating against the U.S. in a bold move after the Senate approved and sent a final bill to President Donald Trump for increased sanctions. Now, unexpectedly, the U.S. prepares to deal with Putin's retaliatory move as tensions continue to rise. According to the Gateway Pundit, Russia's President Putin announced on Sunday, July 30, 2017, that 755 United States diplomats must leave Russia immediately. The bold move appears to be in response to the United States Senate approving the final bill, which would significantly increase sanctions on Russia. Reportedly, Trump is expected to sign the bill this following week. As relations between the U.S. and Russia continue to become more strained, 755 diplomats from the U.S. will be packing their bags and leaving Putin's country immediately after the Senate overwhelmingly voted Thursday to level new sanctions on Russia. The bill was passed with such overwhelming numbers that it is expected to be veto-proof, according to Daily Mail. Reportedly, with only two dissenters, being Bernie Sanders, Ivermont, and Rand Paul, Arkey, the bill was passed 98-2 and also includes an increase in sanctions against Iran and North Korea. Prior to the Senate's approval, the House passed the measure on Tuesday with a tally of 419-3 votes. Russia's aggression in Ukraine and Syria are targeted in the bill. U.S. lawmakers are seeking to punish Russia for corruption, weapon sales, and human rights abuses. The bill will go to Trump's desk this coming week with a little surprise for him included a provision that would limit the president's authority to lift the sanctions without cooperation from Congress. During an interview with CNN Thursday, Anthony Scaramucci, Trump's new White House communications director, said, he may sign the sanctions exactly the way they are, or he may veto the sanctions and negotiate an even tougher deal against the Russians. In response to Scaramucci's statement, Senator Bob Corker, RTN, said, they can count. They understand math. I just can't imagine they're considering doing so. In response to Congress approval of the new sanctions, Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said the U.S. will deal with diplomatic consequences for its actions. Russia is ready to strike back at the U.S. government for a bill imposing sanctions over the 2016 election interference, a Kremlin official said Sunday. Ryabkov said the U.S. will be hit with a long, long overdue retaliation after Congress passed the bill. If the U.S. side decides to move further towards further deterioration, we will answer, he said. Russia has never been an ally of the United States, despite previous cooperation in limited instances in places like Syria. Like Communist China, Russia has no overwhelming goodwill toward America or her interests. As we continue to support Trump through this difficult situation, he will most definitely need to exercise his master of deal-making in the coming days. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice. Your voice.